Jackie D'Amico was a mobster and associate of the Gambino crime family. He was a close friend and associate of John Gotti, and was known as Jackie the Kid due to his youthful appearance and energy. D'Amico was born in Brooklyn, New York in 1940. He grew up in a rough area, and became involved in organized crime at a young age. He was a member of the Gambino crime family, one of the most powerful and well-known criminal organizations in the United States. The Gambino crime family, has its roots dating back to the late 19th century and was one of the five families that dominated organized crime in New York City. D'Amico was a close associate of John Gotti, who became the boss of the Gambino crime family in the 1980s. Gotti and D'Amico were known to be inseparable, and D'Amico was considered to be one of Gotti's most trusted advisors. Gotti was known for his flamboyant personality and his media-savvy tactics, which earned him the nickname the Teflon Don. D'Amico was involved in various criminal activities, including extortion, loan sharking, and gambling. He was also known to have had a hand in the illegal drug trade. D'Amico was known to be a ruthless and violent individual, who was willing to use violence to achieve his goals. Despite his criminal past, D'Amico was known by many as a charismatic and charming individual. He had a magnetic personality and was well liked. He was also known to be a devoted father and husband. By the late 1960s, Jackie D'Amico had made a name for himself as a bookmaker and soldier in the Gambino crime family, which at the time was led by boss Carlo Gambino. In the 1970s, D'Amico became closely associated with Ozone Park-based capo John Gotti, and began to expand his criminal activities across Brooklyn, Queens, and the Bronx. After the death of Gambino in 1976, his brother-in-law Paul Castellano took over as boss, and D'Amico was promoted to Capo regime in the Brooklyn faction. With the profits from his illegal activities, D'Amico gained significant respect and power within the family. However, in 1985, Castellano and his underboss Thomas Bilati were killed, and Gotti, who had orchestrated the assassination, took over as boss of the Gambino crime family. D'Amico became one of Gotti's closest associates, and the two continued to operate illegal activities together. In 1992, Gotti was sentenced to life imprisonment for racketeering charges, but before he went to prison, he created a ruling panel, which included D'Amico, Gotti's son John Jr. Gotti, Peter Gotti, and Joseph Arcuri. They would meet to discuss business at the Hawaiian Moonlighters Club, which became the new Gambino headquarters in Little Italy. However, in 1998, D'Amico was charged with racketeering and loan sharking, and in 1999, he pleaded guilty to operating an illegal gambling operation in Connecticut, whose profits went to Junior Gotti. He was ultimately sentenced to 20 months in prison. In 2008, Jackie D'Amico was caught up in a major law enforcement operation known as Operation Old Bridge, which targeted drug trafficking between the Gambino crime family in New York and their connections in Sicily. Along with more than 60 affiliates of the Gambino family, D'Amico was arrested and placed in the Metropolitan Detention Center, MDC, in Brooklyn. However, he was later released on bail. Despite the charges brought against him as part of the operation, D'Amico pleaded guilty in May 2008 to extorting a cement company out of $100,000 and was sentenced to two years in prison. He was scheduled for release in November 2009 but was charged with arranging a murder in 1989, and was kept in prison. In 2010, D'Amico pleaded guilty to conspiring to assault Frederick Weiss with a dangerous weapon, in a plea agreement due to the weak case against him. 
He served his time at the Metropolitan Correctional Center, and was released on June 15, 2012. It is also worth noting that the Gambino crime family, of which D'Amico was a member, has seen significant changes and decline in recent years. Many of its high-ranking members have been arrested and convicted, and the organization has been significantly weakened. Despite this, the legacy of Jackie D'Amico and the Gambino crime family continue to be a topic of fascination for many. D'Amico's involvement in organized crime and his association with John Gotti have cemented his place in American criminal history. Please like, comment, and subscribe.